Mom, you're graduating again? <laughs> Happy graduation! <laughs> Hopefully I will be able to reorganize this. This is not a one day process, but we'll get it done. And then hopefully we'll find a way to reorganize this bin of shoes that just doesn't look that aesthetically pleasing. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria. Today I'm going to be reorganizing my small space of a closet. Um, and basically just like reorganizing, taking out all my clothes, and pretty much giving my... Uh, old closet a new look. So in my last videos, I've shown you guys how my old closet used to look like. I think you guys kind of got the gist of it. How it was kind of just a mess. Mainly, I don't know if you can see. I'll show you guys. Mainly like in this area here. And if you recall, there's this crate of shoes that really needs to get reorganized. My mom and I went to Ikea and got two of these basket holder things basically it's really convenient they slide in and out and got two of them so i'll show you guys where i put them and i will pretty much take you guys through my whole reorganization process from the bottom to the top and also kind of around my room and show you guys how i have made the most out of my small space with all the clothes that i have and maybe this will inspire you guys if you are looking for some tips and some tips and tricks to organize your small room space, dorm space, apartment space, whatever. Because my room is pretty small, so um, it's kind of hard sometimes to be a little organized and to, make, and to make the most out of a very small space. So my mom and I already assembled two of these and we got them from Ikea and it wasn't too hard to assemble. We just had to... Um, I would have shown you guys a time lapse of it all, but my mom doesn't really like to be on camera, so I didn't film that, but that's okay. This is what it looks like, and um, I got two, so one will be for my jeans because I have a lot of them, and the other one is going to be for my shoes, so I will take you guys through that. A couple of other things that I bought from Ikea as part of this whole organizational process. I got this fabric box and I'm going to put that up there on top and just put a bunch of clothes that I don't really use. So like seasonal clothes, for example, will remain out um, in my drawers and stuff. But like shorts and stuff that I don't really wear for the fall or winter will probably go in this box over here. And the last thing, the last thing that I got from Ikea are these, they're like file holders, I guess, but that's not really for my closet. It's really just for other parts of my room that I really just need to organize and make it look more put together. But I figured I'd throw this into the Ikea haul anyway because it's organizational, even if it's not for my closet. <laughs> but yeah, my closet has been a huge mess and I've been wanting to reorganize it for a while. And... I'm gonna show you guys how I went from a very disorganized closet to a pretty darn organized space, if I do say so myself. So I'll take you guys through pretty much everything um, and how I organize it all. So now I'm just going to try to attempt to put pretty much all of my jeans in here and then shoes in the other one. So we're gonna cue the time lapse now. <laughs>
closet look so when you open it up it's all my clothes and and then when you go down you will see all my jeans are in these baskets and they are ordered from most used to least used and rips or no rips to rips because I usually wear uh, no rip jeans and on the last basket I just have kind of like miscellaneous things such as I guess swimsuits, a box with just some bags and belts, and my moccasins. And over here in these bins, I just have a bunch of random healthcare products, and then I have my straighteners and hair dryer, and then there I have really miscellaneous items that don't really have any space in my room, but I just I'm not ready to throw out yet. And then when you move these, they have more clothes. But on here is just the same organization, but we have my shoes. And I have my shoes ordered from, again, kind of like most commonly worn to least commonly worn. Definitely these two are the least commonly worn. But these are pretty much, yeah, that's how I ordered it, essentially. And if you take a look... I'm gonna try my best to show you guys. If you take a look above, I pretty much kind of kept things the same. I have my basket full of my old bags. I have this bin full of summer clothes that I'm not gonna wear, but by summer clothes, I mean like shorts and stuff. I don't really wear shorts that much, so it's not really a big deal for me to keep them up there. And over here, I have this other bin. And this bin is used for just extra storage. For random things that I didn't have a category for. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my closet organization video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I post new videos every week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Ikea! I love Ikea so much. I could live here.